Now, several months ago, I did a video on Battlefront 2. That's the classic Battlefront 2 made by Pandemic for LucasArts. That was before the whole Disney deal. And the original Battlefront game by Pandemic was really good. But the second one is the one that the fans love the best. It was a great game. A lot of map variety. There were a lot of heroes from all the original trilogy and the prequels as well. And a huge map uh, variety available and different play modes. Then the buyout came and Lucas Arts was shut down and EA was given the license for making Star Wars games by Disney. And then we got the original Star Wars Battlefront from EA and it was popular initially but it lacked a lot of content that made the Battlefront games so popular. It lacked vehicle combat, it lacked a lot of uh, other features and they slowly added these things on but it was still not the Battlefront 2 or still not the Battlefront games that Pandemic had made. And then Battlefront 2 came along and a lot of things happened with that. There was the whole controversy with the loot boxes, there was everything going on with the pay to win in the game and there's unconfirmed reports that Disney got involved and told EA to remove that stuff and so now the game's actually playable now it's more balanced you, there's no there's no pay to win in fact you can't buy anything in the game you've got well you can buy some cosmetics but beyond that you got still have loot boxes but you earn those when you play the game you earn credits and you can spend those credits towards either unlocking characters or or unlocking loot boxes and you get one loot box a day for just signing into the game and playing and that loot box gives you credits and you might earn a loot box from points and stuff by uh, playing the game that will give you things like it'll give you some credits it will give you a skin or something or other and then you unlock other stuff by just playing the game like you unlock other weapons by making achievements like there is one for the um, the heavy weapons I forget the name of it it was heavy weapons uh, character the class and if you kill 50 enemies, you'll get your next weapon. And that's what I'm working up towards. So I said, yes, I did buy Battlefront 2 on Origin. I don't really like Origin. It's not Steam. And it's not just because, you know, I, I will only just buy stuff on Steam. It's not because of that. It's not because I'm a Steam fanboy. It's that Steam might have more competition now with the uh, the stores on Discord and from Epic Games. But those stores have a lot of catching up to do. For one, they've got the market share that Steam has and they have and they have to get all the features that Steam has because if you have an obscure controller and you want to be able to use that controller in games that support only a 360 controller well steam can help you with that you want to be able to play your game on the toilet from your cell phone steam has a feature for that and these other competitors are going to have to catch up with that and ea hasn't done anything with origin to really improve it in that direction which is why i don't really like origin i'll just i will tolerate it or the games I have, the few games that I've received free and the Battlefront 2 game that I bought because I wanted to support the developers, not EA, but the, the people in the trenches who are actually working on the game 
that the company is treating like garbage or not treating correctly. So, Battlefront 2, is it worth playing? I think it is now. Now that it's not mired down with pay to win, now that the loot boxes are gone, or should I say the, the paid loot boxes are gone, where you just earn them in game. Me and Tiger, we've played several times. It's actually fun. And they just released Count Dooku as a character. Anakin is coming, and there has been some indications that Ahsoka and Asajj Ventress may be coming later on. So, again, if you want to get into it, you know, even though you might hate EA, you know, you want to support the developers that are actually working on the game. Don't blame the people in the trenches coding the game, doing the artwork. Don't blame them for the stuff that the execs do. Because all the bad decisions, all the, the things of fighting loot box legislation, all of that is coming from the execs. The developers have no say in that whatsoever. So, again, is Battlefront 2 worth getting? Despite the fact it came from EA and DICE. I'd say, yeah. Remember to visit the Gamers Bay community on MeWe.com. And if you'd like to help our channel, please give to our Patreon. Links are in the description below.